ओके भानु सो लेट्स प्रोसीड अहेड विद योर टेक्निकल स्नैप फॉर वेल्डिंग हां वी गो फॉर वेल्डिंग एंड यू आर गोइंग फॉर आईओसीएल गोइंग ओके भानु सो टेल मी व्हिच इज द मोस्ट वर्सेटाइल वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस सर मोस्ट वर्सेटाइल वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस इज गैस वेल्डिंग सर गैस वेल्डिंग गैस वेल्डिंग सो व्हाई इट इज मोस्ट वर्सेटाइल वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस Uh, sir because uh, like wherever we can say means uh, gas welding process is used in most most of the application sir mm. uh, and also uh, it is also um, uh, readily available means uh, we can easily put, it can be easily portable from one place to another place and also sir uh, equipment cost is also very less sir that's the reason why it can be used in wide applications mm. Mm. okay so gas welding what is the temperature temperature is around 3000 degrees celsius sir and what about arc welding arc welding it is around 6000 degrees celsius hmm. so is there any welding activity where gas welding can be used but uh, arc welding cannot be used sir uh, can you repeat one more time sir is there any welding process you can suggest me where arc welding is gas welding can be used but arc welding is not used uh, sir for uh, 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 for cast iron and uh, for stainless steels, uh, we can use gas welding, sir, uh, compared to arc welding, stainless steel and high carbon steels. Mm. Okay, uh, Bhanu, tell me uh, something about uh, the type of gas weldings. Sir, so, uh, uh, there are mainly three types of gas welding, sir. First one is oxyacetylene gas welding. Uh, another is oxyhydrogen welding another is pressure gas welding sir these are the three types of gas welding mm. okay so when do we use uh, oxidizing flame okay sir uh, oxidizing flame is used uh, when uh, the ratio of oxygen to acetylene it is greater than 1 in that condition like we will use oxyacetylene welding no, no. but why do we use oxidizing flame that is my question why do we have more oxygen supply sir uh, like uh, in order to weld uh, like uh, like copper alloys uh, or uh, um, like copper alloys means like bronze or brass uh, for these kind of buildings we will use oxy um, oxidizing flame sir okay and uh, can you suggest me some uh, material which are weld uh, only using oxidizing flame uh, sir, oxidizing flame is yes, sir this uh, Co- um, brass sir means it is a mixture of uh, copper and uh, zinc and also bronze means uh, it is a mixture of copper and zinc mean, these are okay. the metals we can be welded using oxidizing flames you know normally welding of aluminum is supposed to be very difficult yes sir any reason why we feel so sir uh, because uh, for welding of means uh, during uh, welding of aluminum sir Uh, there is a means Al two O three readily forms means it readily forms and it will come above the uh, surface of the welding. So mm-hmm. the reason why is welding of aluminium is very difficult, sir. Mm-hmm. Means Al two O three will come above the surface of the workpiece. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why uh, aluminium welding is very difficult. Mm-hmm. Can you s- tell me any other material welding of which is difficult? Sir, cast iron, sir. Why? sir uh, because uh, uh, cast iron has uh, means it is it has very high strength and also sir uh, if you do heating means it cannot expand uh, further it forms a defect uh, means it cannot expand that's the reason why cast iron iron welding is very difficult okay bhanu now tell me uh, gas welding and gas cutting yes sir uh, normally are used what is the yes, difference sir. between the torches which you use for these two sir uh, Uh, for, in gas cutting sir like we will use cutting torch sir uh, in in cutting torch like uh, we will supply oxygen sir means uh, we will supply oxygen with high pressure uh, for which the metal will be oxidized and we can cut the material easily so that is for uh, cutting torch now where it comes to uh, welding uh, in welding torch we will we will produce different kinds of flames like uh, neutral flame oxidizing and carburizing flame Mm. where which metals can be joined through welding torch sir mm. there is a different between two torches and uh, bhanu tell me like uh, this uh, when we talk about uh, you know 
uh, fluxes which we are using what is the purpose of electrode and what is the purpose of flux on electrode sir uh, the purpose of flux is uh, means uh, uh, will be it will be coated on the electrode sir because uh, uh, the main uh, advantage of flux is that we can use as arc stabilizer sir mm. and uh, Uh, it pro means it makes slags and remove uh, in the form of impurities. That's the one thing. And another thing is uh, like uh, it uh, it uh, makes inert gas atmos atmosphere, sir. Mm -hmm. And also, sir, in few cases we can add alloying elements through these electrodes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. These and can you tell me what is the component of uh, flux? What is the material used in flux? Sir, uh, mainly the flux uh, we it is a combination of uh, carbonates and silicates, sir. These are the metals in the flux. Mm -hmm. So the major fluxes like borax, uh, uh, ammonium chloride, zinc chloride. These are the different fluxes we will use in welding, sir. So what kind of flux will you use for overhead welding? Oh, um, sorry, sir. At present, I am unable to recall, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, can you tell me, uh, Bhanu, what is the difficulty in overhead welding? What difficulty do we face during overhead welding? Sir, uh, basically, uh, in overhead welding, we will do the welding from the bottom of the job. Uh, means uh, during welding, uh, the the molten metal uh, which is uh, uh, done during the welding, it can fall through gravity, sir. Means it can fall through bottom through gravity. So in order to rectify this, uh, we need to do welding against the gravity, mm -hmm. and also, uh, uh, the controlling of the welding uh, speed should be very less. And also, can you tell me what are the modes of metal transfer? Yes, sir. Uh, basically, sir, there are three modes of metal transfer, sir. First one is short circuit transfer, mm -hmm. another is gobbler transfer, another is spray arc transfer. These are the three ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. And overhead welding, clearly, which one shall we prefer? Sir, in overhead welding, we will prefer a short circuit transfer, sir. Mm -hmm. Not spray. No, sir. Means uh, mainly we will uh, use short circuit transfer, sir. Okay, Parun, let me give feedback. So overhead welding, try to understand spray welding will be very helpful because you are to spray from the distance and it can be done. For which you need okay, to sir. have more current. So revise those things well. Your knowledge, yes, I think you have acquired knowledge of uh, welding. You are doing and uh, knowing couple of things there. But revise it well. It is a very in-depth kind of uh, subject. So I've asked you a couple of questions. <laughs> that is okay. You have answered that. Mm, try to revise more and try to listen to all the snaps of welding which we have so far conducted. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay.